Wonderful. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're honored to have with us our honorable chief guest, Dr. Amkar Rai, Director General STPI. And we're going to, Mr. Vishal is going to join us a little late. And we have a special guest, Sri Amin Vidya Sankar, President, India Electronics and Semiconductor Association, ISA. He doesn't need any production in the country at least. He's a great friend in the country. He has done a lot of good work in Karnataka while he was the principal secretary IT. The thing he has done in Karnataka and also especially for the country is remarkable. We have Prabhakar Rao, Vice President UCCI, Mr. Manas Ranjan Panda, Direct STPI Bhuneshwar, Mr. Vijay Sahu, Chairman Sai International School, Komodo Jena, Director TCOE and other distinguished guests and friends from the media. On behalf of War India, I'd like to welcome to all the 7th edition of Odisha Information Technology Fair 2015. To further strengthen ICT industry and position the latest product, technology and services, the coffee book, we have brand book, a brainchild of War India is a life example on how various corporates got benefited from it. To continue with this, spirit and provide a knowledge bank about the IT industry, we are coming out with the 4th edition of brand book in the month of May. With our spiritual support, Warindi has been voted as the most preferred IT publication in the country, getting to B2B. Despite challenges in the global market, the Indian IT is just I want to give a flavor how the IT is evolving. So rest, our uh, guests are going to give a great thought like we have uh, Dr. Unkar Rai and we have Vidya Sakar give a wider prospect. And then what I have collected as a media is a nutshell how the industry is evolving. <coughs> so we have a lot of challenges in the global market. The Indian ITS industry has since set steady growth and increased investment in 2014. Various initiatives by the government in technology such as infrastructure development, revised national league governance plan, digital India campaign and development of smart cities has boosted the prospects of IT ITS players. For ITHS place, disruption drove digital transformation and focus was enhanced on smart technology. This was the year when e-commerce segment within the technology sector made significant strides and attracted very large investments. Also, a lot of customers in metro and non-metro exploded online shopping experience. Friends, it is not stopping us here. And in the coming year, newer business models, trend in technology updates, for infrastructure related applications <coughs> such as data center and modernization and virtualization and emerging areas such as artificial intelligence, automation, IoT, <coughs> collaboration and design technology will drive the market in the future. From the e-commerce segment, prospective 2015 is likely to set newer benchmarks for number of online shoppers and number of orders fulfilled. Innovative ways to capture mindset of customers, newer segments getting large shape of by I would like to say it is really a great opportunity for the computer professionals in the software, hardware and service sector. The world is changing at an unprecedented pace. In 2014, an estimated 77 billion apps has been downloaded worldwide. While our digital universe continues to double every two years. In India, an average of 5 million people join the internet every month. More than ever before, the internet of everything can play an integral part in driving growth, innovation and productivity in industries such as healthcare, rural, e-commerce and education. <coughs> My strong belief is that innovation application of technology can have a positive effect on India's competitiveness, diversification of industry base, its ability to create jobs and improve quality of life for its citizens. Helping people connect and collaborate is not just one of our business, it is what makes us want to create and innovate every day. Now, you must be watching how various corporates are coming out with new products made, in, made for India that will help enable a digital India. Both US and Indian business have a viable stake in enabling the trade between the two countries to increase another fivefold from 100 billion to 500 billion. We must take the lead in drafting sustainable and inclusive initiatives to ensure mutual growth and progress. To paraphrase Steve Jobs, the brain behind Apple computers, we need to think differently, completely different from the process and the methodology followed up in the past. To borrow from William Sapphire, we have to stop being narrating neighbors of negative. <coughs> To keep the industry rocking, the fifth year of that we have organized War India Cup Cricket Tournament 
The tournament organized to bring a hidden talent of every hard-working employee of the participating IT corporate was held in 18, 19 and 26 of this month. The semi-final and the final match were held on 26 Jan at Infosys Ground Bhubaneswar where 16 IT corporates and organizations had participated. The participant teams were STPI, OCA, Infosys, Wipro, TCS, Tech Mahindra, Apsis, Process Map, Discovature, Oroin, Itao, EQ, CO, Infotech, CSM Technologies, Tatwa Technologies and Excellent. Tournament was supported by STPI, Bhubaneswar and OCA, Government of Odisha, Nixi and Honda. We are going to recognize the winners in this event. A great round of applause to all the teams for their best efforts for showing their true winning spirit. I am sure it is now an established platform in Odisha to bring IT corporates together under one platform. Special thanks to Infosys and the cricket team for their wholehearted support in providing cricket ground and other logistics. Talking about today's event, we are here together to felicitate the industry's performance by recognizing the regional wars and the winners of cricket tournament. So let's understand more from the speakers and panelists present here to understand how to make governance a smart city. Thank you for all for joining us this meet and everyone is a professional in this respective field. I am hopeful that we will be able to glean many fruitful and relevant takeaways from the discussions here today. I conclude with Steve Jobs another quote, stay hungry, stay foolish. I expect everyone present here to have very good networking with each other. Thank you.